Forbes recently released a countdown that showcased the highest paid YouTubers of 2018. Lily Singh had some complaints. Two years ago, it was almost even between male and female. Last year, it was just me, and this year, there are no females at all. Something I predicted in my Instagram caption last year. I'm concerned the digital space is going to repeat the same mistakes of ancient industries. Hope I'm wrong. <laughs> Oh, God. As you can see, she's obviously referring back to the Forbes list. She went to Twitter to say how the list lacked female representatives. Lily, just because you're a female and something doesn't go your way doesn't mean you automatically have the right to scream sexism or gender equality because that's not the case here. Forbes had a chance to pick you. They just didn't. It's obviously clear why. Sure, the list is inaccurate and the two female journalists should have done more research. But girl, why are you making this into a sexist situation when it's not? Lily continued to make a chain of tweets following the subject. I won't read them because one, I'm too lazy and two, I don't read bullcrap. Uh, and she also challenged PewDiePie to DM her because he called her out on YouTube. Girl, Felix ain't worried about you. And maybe Lily is right. We should have had more female representation because that list was way too inaccurate. Jojo Siwa should have been on that list. Safiwa, Sa Sa Safaya, I think is her name. Safaya should have been on that list. Her views are freaking A1. They're off the charts right now. Emma Chamberlain could have maybe even fit the list. But you know what? Calling out sexism. Is that really the best thing to do here in this situation? I don't want to be biased, so let me try and look on Lily's point of view. Fine, let's say the list was intended to be sexist. I can deal with Lily being right. Women can be sexist towards other women. But maybe, have you ever thought males have a wider audience and have a wider range of content instead of videos such as, ooh, I don't know, building the perfect boyfriend. And yes, I did dislike that video for the sake of this one. <laughs> I'm that bitch. Yes, we know YouTube can delete views and prefer other creators over others, but Lily, do you know who's in YouTube Rewind every year? You and Liza. Oh no. Yes, we also know YouTube can delete views and prefer other creators over others, but Lily, do you know who's in YouTube Rewind every year? You. Do you know who gets opportunities and openings and advantages that literally half of the population can't get? You. As a matter of fact, I think Lily should be focused on YouTube in general than some poorly researched Forbes list. How about you focus on sexism on the actual YouTube app? This is statistics, fam. I would rather pick Markiplier over my life as Ava because of the content not because of their gender. Females can have a wide range of content, but most, like 90, no, not even 90, maybe about 70 to 80% involve DIYs, beauty, fashion, or videos that attract female viewers. Males, in my opinion, have way more varieties of content. Then again, that's not a bad thing because every single creator that you come across on YouTube has a specific audience that they're trying to reach. Yours, Lily, is obviously people from California who wear buns and drink Starbucks every millisecond of their lives. I screenshotted this from Bionic Pig's channel because one, I couldn't find the original tweet, and two, I watch him every single day of my life, so it wasn't hard for me to come across this. I tweeted about seeing no women on the YouTubers Forbes list, and as a result, received some angry tweets from men. Remind me, why are you mad again? I'm not playing a gender card. I'm literally studying facts about results in an article. Let's do better. I'm not your enemy. X. Ooh, girl. Ooh, you make me so... <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not gonna say angry because I'm not even trying to... Ooh, I just love how Lily loves to assume it's just men. No, bitch, I was mad as hell when I seen those tweets, too. What are you talking about? Because to be truthful, claiming sexism against YouTube is a huge freaking claim. Especially if you have YouTubers such as Jenna Marbles, Liza Koshy, and you. So, what? Uh, I need some more backup. I need some more evidence. I need some more proof. I need some more... Just, I need something there. I need something and some texture. I need something. If there is sexism, great. You just made a huge discovery. I don't see you sitting your ass down making a video on it. You can't play victim when there's no scenario to start off with in the first place. Perhaps you're not even on that list because your content is too 
dry. It's so stale, I can't even restore it. It's like stale ass bread. You can't eat it, you can't do nothing with it, you just throw it in the trash and go buy some more. It's going about this in the wrong way. Yes, it seems weird there's no females, but I don't see why you're going out of the way to do this, but you're not even contributing. If you care so damn much, consider more collaborations with female creators. Help them get a bigger platform. Until then, sit your ungrateful ass down somewhere. One more thing that bothers me. Lily was really one of the few people that begged for more diversity on YouTube. Okay, great. Great, fantastic. She wanted more diversity, she got it. An Asian child is number one. You see a biracial man in the countdown, along with the gay man who is Jeffree Star. But no, in Lily's world, guess what, bitches? That's not good enough for her. Oh no, we gotta complain about something. You know what? I may be making a big deal about this, and I'm sorry, but I don't appreciate people that call out something that's not even there. That's exactly what Lily is doing. I don't appreciate that. I've seen that too many times as a child. I've seen it too many times as a teenager. And I still see it now. I'm 16 years old. I've been seeing it since maybe I was about, what, four or five? I don't want to see that anymore. And people with a big ass flap, 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 flap. No, not at all. With a big ass platform such as Lily complaining about something as little as this. I don't appreciate at all. Sit down and make them videos, sell that merch, go on somewhere. If you care so damn much, do something about it. Until then, don't make no tweets. Do something productive to change that list. Okay, kiddos, I hope you stay tuned for the next video because this one <laughs> is now over. Talk to y'all later.